Welcome to the second part of the Smart Device Management Platform, Case Scene System. This tutorial video will guide you through how to use the Case Scene System to manage parking spaces and road section. Next, we will demonstrate each function step-by-step, -step, ensuring that you can operate easily and improve management efficiency. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's move to the Parking Space Management section. This is the core page for managing all parking spaces. Here, you can query detailed information about parking spaces by simply entering the street code, section range, or parking number in the green box. The system will automatically retrieve the relevant information, which is very convenient. After you enter the search criteria, the system will display all parking space information that matches the conditions. By clicking on the status icon, you can quickly view the detailed information of these parking spaces. Whether you want to check the usage status or view the attributes of the parking spaces, everything is at a glance. Let's look at how to add a parking space. On the Parking Space List page, click the Add New Record button and the system will bring up a new window for Add Parking Space. First, select the correct location area and the system will automatically populate all relevant information. Then, enter the parking number you want to add. The system also provides seven different parking space attributes, which can be selected through a drop-down menu. For example, you can choose whether it's a general parking space or a special purpose space. This setup helps you manage the purpose of each parking space precisely. When adding a parking space, you can simultaneously bind a device by entering the device's IMAI code. The system will automatically match the correct device, ensuring that the connection between the device and the parking space is accurate. After entering all the information, you need to input an eight-digit execution code to confirm the operation. This is a security measure to prevent accidental operations. If you need to add multiple devices at once, the system also provides a code remember function. This allows for faster batch additions, saving time on individual entries and improving operational efficiency. After the parking space data is displayed, you will find four operational applications on the right side of each item. First, clicking on detailed location will open a map window allowing you to operate the map to show the precise location of the device. Second, modified data allows you to update relevant data, which is very useful for situations where you need to change the parking space number or parking space attributes. If a parking space is no longer needed, you can choose Remove This Record. And when you need to replace a device or unbind a device, you can use the binding replace unbinding function to ensure that the data in the system is always synchronized with the on-site situation. Similarly, all of the above operations require entering an eight-digit execution code to confirm the operation. This is a security measure to prevent accidental operations. Now let's explain the road section management function here, the system will display the number of parking spaces included in each street, allowing you to manage all parking spaces more comprehensively. There are two executable items on the right side of each street data entry. One is to edit street data, where you can modify the road section and section range in the pop-up window. The other is to remove the street, provided that the number of parking spaces on that street must be zero to perform this operation. The above operations also require entering an execution code to be carried out. This concludes the tutorial content for the case scene management system. We have learned how to query and manage parking spaces, add and edit devices, and operate street and road section management functions. We hope this video helps you manage parking lots more efficiently. If you have any questions or needs, please feel free to contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.